Hello everybody, this is Daryl Whitman with Destination WVF TV. Thank you for watching. In this video, we introduce you to the newest addition to the Norwegian Cruise Line fleet. In my best Don Cornelius voice, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, coming to the cruising stage April 2026, put your hands together for what will be the hippest trip in America, Norwegian Luna. Let's talk about it. These are my favorite videos. As I've said previously in other ship previews I've done, I love big, bold, and beautiful new ships. Norwegian Luna meets all the above. Norwegian Luna is the fourth ship in the Prima class, following the Norwegian Prima, Norwegian Viva, and Norwegian Aqua. Norwegian Luna will mark the company's 21st ship in its cutting edge fleet. Cruises will embark from Miami beginning April 4th, 2026 through November 2026. Norwegian Luna will kick off its inaugural Caribbean season with two western itineraries to Roatan Island, Honduras, Costa Maya and Cozumel, Mexico, and Harvest Cay Belize in the brand's resort-style destination. The ship will then sail seven-day cruises with calls to the beautiful eastern Caribbean destinations of Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic, Tortola, British Virgin Islands, St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, and Great Stirrup Cay, NCL's private island in the Bahamas, which will feature a brand new pier by late 2025. At 1,056 feet long, 156,300 gross tons, accommodating approximately 3,550 guests at double occupancy, and a crew of 1,597, Norwegian Luna will boast an overall 10% size and capacity increase from Prima class ships Norwegian Prima and Norwegian Viva. Norwegian Luna will be designed as a twin sister ship to Norwegian Aqua. Norwegian Luna will boast the all new luxurious three bedroom duplex Haven Suites in the brand's premium key card access only complex, the Haven by Norwegian, which were first announced to debut on sister ship Norwegian Aqua. These expansive two story suites will feature separate living and dining areas three bathrooms, a balcony, and three bedrooms. Haven guests will continue to enjoy 24-hour butler service and a dedicated concierge team, as well as access to a sprawling sun deck, an infinity pool overlooking the ship's stern, an outdoor spa complete with a glass wall sauna and cold room, two hot tubs, a private lounge, and an exclusive bar pouring rare spirits and vintages. Woo! That's a lot to take in. A variety of NCL's elevated guest experiences will also make their comeback on Norwegian Luna, including Ocean Boulevard, the 46,000 square foot outdoor walkway which wraps around the entire ship to bring guests closer to the sea. By Beach Club, the adults only open air lounge, Infinity Beach which provides sweeping views of the ocean, and an expansive upper pool deck equipped with day beds for soaking up the sun. Guests aboard Norwegian Luna can also enjoy the new dining and bar experience of the Prima Plus class, such as Suka Thai, the company's Thai specialty restaurant with an eclectic menu of traditional and creative offerings. Indulge food hall with 10 different food stations, including a plant-based plantary location, Returning NCL signature specialty and complimentary venues include Cagney State House, Le Bistro, the elevated French restaurant, and Onda by Scarpetta, the high-end Italian venue. In addition to the culinary offerings, guests can indulge in bar and lounge favorites for delicious imbibes at Whiskey Bar, Belvedere Bar, and Metropolitan, NCL's modern sale and sustain cocktail bar, which won the 2024 Vibe Vista Award for Best Beverage Menu. Well, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing with us before you go. We'd love to have you as part of our growing family. This is not how I usually end, but I like to end with this. After cruising on Norwegian Luna, the hippest trip in America, in the immortal words of Don Cornelius, you bet your last money you're going to have a stone gas, honey.
And in parting, we wish you love, peace, and soul. This is Daryl Whitman. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode of Destination WVF TV.